You cannot stop me. I'ma make it to the top spot. See, call it coming in now, cocky. You cannot break me. This world's bad for the taking. Got an itch, man. I'm making. Oh. Versus undying shadow fiend no less so any strength throw they go for is going to be under a lot of pressure and what's it going to be the visage. Okay. the visage okay so they dodge out i was thinking of something along the lines of like a venomancer just that same idea of something that's kind of cheesy kind of annoying that right oh. card will go uh -oh. for but oh divai thinks it's just the olacor instead it's a party of four um trying to give it to the sf super quick yeah there we go yeah, they're just going to continue to farm. Everybody has too much armor. Everybody has not strong enough spells. It's where once Yuma's lane starts to push out, he might be in slightly more danger, as the Medusa's wave always eventually does do, but not yet. As Got behind it. the tier 1, underneath the tier 2, Lumiere gets that kill onto the Rubik. Okay, just too many creeps, just too much of a surplus, and wasn't able to tank through it. Yeah, he did his best to do a little bit of... A little bit of wiggling, a little bit of zigzagging, but Lumiere still hits him with the two raises, and I suppose, but Gardic doesn't need to be aggressive. His only job here is to make Lumiere farm, and the easiest way to do that is to be aggressive, but if he can soak up some attention like that... Well, I was going to say Lumiere is free to farm. Lumiere, though, kind of wants to fight. He is pushing in, triple raise combo onto Alexo, does a nice bit of damage, but he needs the right clicks to finish it, but... Like, that's not very hard. Divai can't really do too Time much. Time top. Puck's rotating in. Doesn't have the best jump, and, well, you kind of spook them away, but... Okay. They'll still force the play in. They get Lumiere a kill first, but now the Tusk is going to arrive. It's Antic. Going for the Walrus Punch onto Gardic, though. Looking for the easier kill. They do manage to get it. Now can they turn? Lumiere did take a Soul Assumption to the face, but the raises are just too powerful. My Llama goes down, and... Continues to be DK, and even Boris can't kill him, but very annoying shouldn't kill him oh boy. yeah he's got both his spells kind of making me scared and okay the greed will end up biting him shouldn't have died there but just got greedy held too many of his abilities yeah now you look at hikori they're starting to feel themselves a bit 2k net worth lead already and well okay is anything going to come of this it's antic is trying to force it but it's not going to be an easy kill. Analog is very little mana, but he's holding on to some wand charges and a fairy oh, fire. No. And now the oh, reinforcements oil. arrive. Ooh. Doesn't go for it. They get the lift. They get the snowball. They get the punch. Do they have enough damage, though? They did get the heal off on to Vitaly there with the soul rip, so he is not going down. It's Boris who falls first. And the sharpshooter, stolen by Alexo, is actually going to be able to get in there to finish the job. So for now... This trade looks pretty good for wildcard. One for one with the tombstone going down. And their tier one tower is protected. Nobody's really committing fully for any sort of fight, but they are throwing out some spells. Now, though, they are going to look for Gardic in the river. The Undying gets a little bit too far forward, but he does throw down the tombstone. Heals himself up with a soul rip. Now they come in with the dream coil, and it's just a support trade for now, but they're looking for the visage as well, and they are going to be able to get it. So two for one going the other way. Hikori gets the better of that, and uh, so far ahead... Excuse me, ahead of everyone else, he's just been farming up. As Vitaly's going to try to make a move, they get the Dragon Tail into the Bushwhack, and... Well, he's going to get involved there, but that is a hand-delivered kill to him, so... I mean, he's sitting at 6-0, and which I know makes my hasn't-been-too-involved statement sound weird, but... Queuing up uh, just a straight-up Butterfly is his next item. While he does that, though, his teammates, yeah, they push in looking for the fight. They take down Alexo, they'll take the tower as well. I think Gardic was maybe anticipating a bigger fight than that because he did throw the tombstone out there. So waves. Once Vitaly has that Ag shard, suddenly this DK is just going to put down that. Oh, no more DK. That's what we've been needing to see here. Atlantic had been quiet for a little bit, but able to make some moves and can they get anything else? They've got analog trapped in the well, kind of trapped in the shards, but. Analog wants in, Dream Coil only hits onto the Rubik, but they'll take that kill. Bit of a freebie, but they're looking for a little bit more. Analog's gonna push forward. Can they actually stop anyone from running, though? Divai is getting slowed up a little bit. There we go. The stun now comes in from Vitaly. He's gonna drop the familiars, but that will not be enough. Analog picks up the double, and... Uh... And yeah, scan goes. Scan whips. It's not the prettiest, and Boris is hunting, but with the tomb down now... Oh, that's a little early. Um, that's, a, that's a lot early. That's unbelievably early, unfortunately, and Boris does get cleaned up pretty easily. Yeah, didn't have the best position to maybe 
smoke screen from the uh, from the outside of the pit, but yeah, that's one way to go down. Well, I suppose it was worth a shot, but not at the butterfly yet, but he is pretty damn close to grabbing some components, and his teammates do actually get caught out a little bit here. Vitaly is dropping low. They will be able to take him down. Gardic did not get there in time for the soul rip play, and... They could look for a pick mid if a weak hero shows, but they more likely want to get onto that tier 2 tower. And actually, taking a 4v4 right now... Okay, they found the Ricky. That's your free pick. And now Lumir is already onto bottom. Interestingly, Exantic just decided to go straight up for the Deso. And behind the tower, actually, Divai. I don't think you're going to see anything from him. Tomb to make sure there's absolutely no follow-up. Rubik, okay. Sold the illusory orb, maybe something for nuking, but... Technically, it was Boris, but they didn't actually have vision on him. So now, this is a bit of a scramble. Ooh, and Alexa will get caught. He gets taken out. Just no good place for him to stand in that situation. But that's a pretty cheap kill. And they already got the objective. Yuma got a second ultimate orb. He got the Mantas out on the wave. They got their birds in a good spot to keep split push pressure going. But the real issue is the mid lane. And Divai just got a little bit too close to Hikori's vision. And now, as soon as those creeps start marching in, kind of have to get this ranged creep going. If you're Hikori... Are you concerned? Not really. They're just going to keep on pushing it. Vitaly actually got the initiation onto Boris. That's... I'll find everybody else. Unfortunately, well, they're starting on Lumiere. Yeah. Hasn't even popped the Satanic yet. Instead, they'll focus on Vitaly. That's a kill that they can get much more easily. But on the back line, Analog made his move. They get Boris taken down. The Requiem sort of pushes some heroes back with the fear. And now there's going to be a buyback. The Ricky wants to rejoin the engagement. Bushwhack connecting onto two. Analog pushing in for the silence. Connecting onto the Rubik. The Rubik will now buy back as well. But look at the Shadow Fiend. Way too far forward into the fight. Gets pushed in. Now trying to push his way back out. The Satanic is coming into play though. They haven't finished him off yet. But eventually they do manage to break through. And Hikori may have made a bit of a mistake here. They're trying to get Analog out of the fight. They come out but they simply aren't. And now this is going to be a free Aegis, all the positioning. They might get a support pick, but get the Vitaly as well. Yeah, they're trying for it, but the BKB comes out. Yuma's going to pop the Stone Gaze, though, and that is going to force Hikori to sort of regroup. Oh, no, Lumiere, he turned back around. He actually did get hit by the Stone Gaze. Vitaly is actually going to get taken down, buys back immediately. Lumiere in some trouble. Will he lose the first life? Yes, he will, but Analog is able to get on the back line to take out Exantic. But now the buybacks are coming out in force from all sides, and Analog is completely by himself. Hikori, this is not going well. They've lost Gardic again. Lumiere's going to channel out the Requiem point blank, so Yuma does get his shield burned through, and they will take him down. Is that enough, though? Is there damage coming out from the rest of the wildcard lineup? Not from Boris, because he is dead. But Xantic and Divine Lama are going to have to carry this. They're going to push their way in. They get the snowball down. They'll oh. take Vitaly out, but look at that bushwhack connecting. Familiar stun, though, keeping Lumiere from right-clicking. That is a bold TP attempt from Alexo, but it is going to act as a distraction. Even if he goes down, Divai Lama is able to get away, and Xantic is into the tree line. Ooh. Give him a little bit of the uh, the old razzle-dazzle there, blinking past him, but I don't think he's getting out. Blue Mary, see the bushwhack. Oh, and Gardic might die first. Yeah, Vitaly, oh, he's stunned a familiar. That's not good. His BKB is going to be popped immediately, but Gardic has already gone down, and Vitaly just has to try and TP away, but I don't know if he makes it out. No, he doesn't. That is just a terrible initiation. Now, Analog's in trouble, too. He popped a Shiva's, but that's not any sort of defensive itemization, and he is desperate to try and get himself away. Able to blink. Shards will not connect, so Analog does Maybe, get... but 10 seconds up. It's not that long, oh. and they see Lumiere. Art is going to be there. Then they get off the punch. Yeah, they're not able to actually bring him down, though, and now Lumiere's going to chant out the record. Alexo gets taken down. They're going to focus it onto Xantic next. They finish him off as well, and now Yuma, in the middle of the fight, has to pop the Stone Gaze. That is going to reset the engagement, but they're starting to split. Divai, that's too far away. The Medusa's trying to TP out while Divai is still stuck in the engagement, and he's going to get punished here. Hmm. But now they're going to make their move, and that dart did not really hit anything. Now... They're going to make the jump. Yuma is still in the pit, though, activating the Stone Gaze. Just hoping to finish off Roshan as quickly as he can. His analog actually goes down first. He'll buy back immediately, but no one is into the pit. Gardic is... Uh, well, he's going to get the cheese, I guess, but really can't afford to be the first man in. All right, we'll continue. Dragon Tail onto Yuma. They're going to hit him up a little bit more here, trying to get through that shield, but even if they do, he's got two lives to work with, and Vitaly starting to run out of HP. He is falling back. Yuma, though, doesn't want to let him go. Pushing himself forward with the Hurricane Pike. Vitaly goes down. Lumiere, though, trying to get through that first life. Does he have enough? Not quite yet. Yuma's still holding his ground. Now the stun comes out. The BKB wears off of Lumiere. He's going to go down. Gardic falls as well, and Hikori... 
They may have missed their moment. They may have had the door slammed in their face now because... Well... Especially if Analog dies here. They're going to hit him with the dart. He just fought back. Cannot afford to go down here, but he doesn't have a choice. Starting to hit the tier 4s. Shadow Fiend, though, up in 3. 25 seconds out for Analog on the puck. So they will have a chance to defend this. Not if it's Antic jumps in first, though, and there's Gardic dead. Buys back immediately, though, on the Undying. They're going to try and make a move. Getting onto to Xantic. They're going to hit him up with a fear, but the BKB just come out. Vitaly, meanwhile, forced to activate his BKB, but that Scotty hit is really just chunking him down. The other tier 4 falls. The Ancient's been exposed. The Stone Gaze is going to keep Vitaly at arm's length. And now Vitaly's going to get taken down. They have to hope for something here. Lumiere's got to pull out a miracle. The Ancient is dropping low, below 3k health. Yuma splitting his focus a little bit here, but the Ancient is still taking hits. And Lumiere, he's not going to be able to survive. He gets hit by a second Stone Gaze, locks him down. They'll take him out. He buys back immediately, but the Ancient is still falling, and they can't do it in time. ET Wildcard are going to phase three. And with that, Corey, you know, we've got a second game in this series. Don't have anything else to play for. The game just goes a little bit too late. Corey, who were in the driver.